everyone, welcome back to Jessie at Home. In today's video, I am tackling my laundry room. I'm super excited because I've wanted a laundry room for such a long time and in this house, I finally have one and it's just been a disaster zone since we've moved in. My husband and I just bought this house about a month ago and we just dropped everything in here. We did replace the washing machine, but we basically just dropped everything in here and I haven't touched it since. So today was the day that I was gonna get in here and really deep clean and organize and make this space a functional like just oasis to do your laundry um, if that is such a thing I just wanted to enjoy coming in here I wanted to come in here and be able to fold laundry that way I could do it right as it came out of the dryer and just really use this space as it was intended instead of a drop zone for everything else you know that I'm a keep it cold with you I feel a breaking rules on the edge looking now with no parachute you know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge, cleaning out With us it's all or nothing If you are new here, I would love it if you consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. I love answering all the comments you guys leave. Um, I kind of pride myself in answering, to making sure to answer every single comment and really have a conversation with you and learn from you guys. I love teaching you guys tips and tricks, but I also love learning new ways to, you know, keep a tidy home. I have been a stay-at-home mom for my entire adulthood. I like to jokingly say that I'm a professional stay-at-home mom. Um, my husband usually travels for work Monday through Friday and I kind of hold the fort down and get all the things done so I really do love chatting with everyone and kind of like having that community in the comments so definitely leave me a comment below um, even if it's just like a heart or just saying you know a tip that you learned or whatever it is I just really like um, chatting with you guys and um, getting to know you So when we had moved into this house, we had a matching front loader um, that matched the dryer and every time we went to do a load, it wouldn't drain at all. Like it just wouldn't drain. It would just grind and my husband took it apart and tried to fix it because we always like to try and fix things before we just replace. But this one was like really far gone. So we just went out and I decided I really wanted a, a top loader again. So I went with a new Samsung um, without the agitator. I know very controversial, but this thing is a beast and it has worked so well. And I love that it only uses the water that it needs so it kind of senses how, how many how much clothes are in there and then it only uses the water versus like filling up the entire tank for a quick wash or whatever so I'm really loving my new washing machine and the dryer works really well it's super hot so I'm not gonna switch that out like I know it's kind of like oh they're not matching but I would rather have just a functional dryer than just get rid of it because I doesn't match my washer if you know what I mean so I am just organizing right now. I'm just organizing the cat, uh, cat and dog food drawer. They are so spoiled. They get an entire cabinet in here, um, but they are worth it just to have everything in nice and organized.
I can't even tell you how excited I am that I have a laundry sink in my laundry room. Like this laundry room is amazing. I am so happy to have all that counter space and storage space and just a laundry sink, but it does need a really deep clean. So I'm just taking a Brillo pad and some of that Zep um, cleaner. It does have bleach in it. So I'm wearing gloves and I am just really giving this um, white plastic sink a deep kind of scrub. I do want to get a new um, faucet for in here, one that has a sprayer. This one you can attach a hose to it, but I really want one that you can um, like spray things out. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to have a sink in my laundry room. So I think this floor was the worst floor, um, worst tile floor in the entire house. Like it was so dark and grimy and gross. Um, I mean, I get it. It's kind of a heavy hitter. It's right as you come off the garage and this room sees a lot of just dirt and um, like stuff in here. So I understand why the laundry room floor would be the worst. Um, but it was like super satisfying to get it so clean and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So I'm just using this bleach foamer and I spray it on and I let it sit for like 30 to 45 minutes. I just kind of closed the door and walked away and let it do its thing. And then I'm going to go back in and just use my little detail brush that I got from Grove Collaborative. I know you guys have mentioned some electric um, scrub brushes so I wouldn't have to sit here on my hands and knees and do it but I haven't found any in my target I did look on Amazon and um, I think it was like 10 bucks or something but I was like oh I have one more floor to do and I really just didn't want to um, like spend the money on it I know I'm, I'm cheap sometimes I really don't want to spend the money on it right now I am actually looking at a like a buffer or an electric um, scrub mop on uh, Amazon because these kind of tile floors do kind of mess up my o cedar mop like the o cedar mop isn't really a good fit for these floors because they're really kind of rough and they have divots and um, it's more of a natural stone so I, w I have been looking at a kind of more intense um, mop for this that way it gets the job done and I don't have to get back on my hands and knees anytime soon
I am in serious awe of how beautiful these floors turned out. A little bit of elbow grease and the dirt just scrubbed right out, you know, like in a couple hours of my time and they are totally trans transformed. I am just in love with how clean they are and I hope I can maintain them and keep them clean with just a little bit of effort each week. So I made my husband move this over because I am going to be putting up some of these um, wall tiles that I had used from Urban Decor. They're not sponsored. I was sponsored by them previously, but I had some leftovers and I figured that I would put them up in this house as just like a little backsplash behind the utility sink. Just add a little bit of bun in here. I am seriously obsessed with the way that it turned out. My husband had to come in and check out what I was doing and he's like, he likes making the complicated cuts. So we had this one complicated cut that I said, here, you can do that one. I'll do the rest so uh, he could have a little bit of fun. He was w busy working this day, so he didn't get a chance to come in and help me do anything. And he really does like helping me out with projects. Um, we love like just working together and getting something done. This is the funny part because I was trying to reuse the shelf that was up there just because, you know, I'm trying to spend as little money as possible in here. I want it to be, you know, functional, but my husband was like, no. He's like, he hated these shelves so bad. And I don't like wire shelves either. They just bend. They're not very sturdy. Um, some of these weren't even in studs. So 
we just kind of measured, tore it down and measured for um, a nice wooden solid shelf that, um, you know, wouldn't break and would be incredibly more useful than trying to make that wire shelf last. So we had to come back the next day after our stain was dry and um, someone asked why we were wearing the gloves uh, when we we're working with the wood while well, the stain is usually a, still a little bit tacky and you know stain is actually kind of hard uh, to get off your hands I know you can use some olive oil or things like that but my husband always has these um, these like nitrile gloves for work so I like to use those when I'm like trying to paint or like don't really want to get my hands super super dirty so that is why we're using them when we're putting up the wood and stuff um, because we use those as well when we were in our um, my office closet putting up those wood shelves it's just nice because if the wood is still tacky then it doesn't get all over your hands And this is so funny um, my husband decided that he was gonna do the body test he wanted to see if it was strong enough for those um, jars I'm gonna put up there and if it can hold him it can hold um, the decor and things that I need up there a couple issues with these cabinets um, in here the little front plate kept falling off so we just got a one by two and used our um, our Craig jig to cut some pocket holes in there and just replace that and then we are going to have to replace the entire um, floor and little trim piece on the sink cabinet that one is totally like rotten through so we're gonna be doing that as well
my husband loves whenever he can get any kind of um, power tool out to work on things. So he has his uh, little uh, multi-tool and then he has his little reciprocating saw and things like that. So he loves getting to uh, bring out all the, like, the tools to work on things. underneath where the cabinet was crazy looks like we had or they had some mouse issues but our cats will take care of that some reason I have this where we're cutting it but I don't have any footage of where we actually replaced the bottom of the sink I don't know what happened to that I guess maybe I didn't hit record or something but we are using this really nice piece of plywood in there and he just did such a good job of making it fit absolutely perfect we also wanted to um, clean off the ceiling light it had grease in here as well for some reason on the ceiling light we thought it was rust but then when we started scrubbing it just came right off so he went outside with the plastic little cover and I just kind of scrubbed up the little side panels and it really did make a difference just taking it down and washing it up I ended up going and changing into some comfy clothes because I was going to be doing some more cleaning. I feel like I started out cleaning this and then we got into the projects and then now I have to go back through and kind of give it another clean as well. Um, just because we got sawdust everywhere. So I wanted to um, wipe it all down on the floor that way I could sweep and then vacuum and then mop again. <laughs>
I love my Steam Map. I've had this one, I think, for like five years um, or so. About 2015, I think, is when I bought this one. And it is seriously a beast. Some of the map pads are a little like stained, but um, you know, you can get, you can buy new ones if you really want to keep the fresh, clean, and white ones. But I just throw them in the washing machine with some bleach and I get out whatever kind of dirt. Um, is lurking in there but these things are so good for like cleaning and sanitizing an area I knew it was important to prime first since this is like raw wood um, so I wanted to make sure to use the Zinsser primer and then I go back later in the evening and I don't think I have um, footage of that either of me going over it once the primer has dried with a um, just a white semi gloss that way it can be wiped easily and it is um, shiny and clean and white. So this is the final day when I finally get to organize. I put the liner, um, the shelf liner down here as well just to kind of give it a little extra layer of protection. Um, now I get to organize all of my excess cleaning supplies in here and that way the kitchen one isn't totally crowded. Um, I'm probably going to add even more and maybe even some shelving under here but for now this works perfect and I'm super happy with that I can actually use this cabinet now. It didn't have anything in it before. I'm gonna give a little tour um, after I'm done decorating everything and explain where I got everything and like my thought process was behind everything. So for now you just kind of see me fiddling with it for a little bit but I'm gonna show you exactly what I used in, in the end and why I have everything. Here is the finished phase one of the laundry room. I'm super happy with it. Um, I'm just gonna start over here by the door. I added this little baggy um, container because we like to reuse our grocery bags to clean up the like kitty litter and things like that. So I have a little receptacle for that. Um, there's our extra toilet paper and stuff. I thought about putting it in like a decorative basket and trying to be all cute, but like this is going to be more functional than, than cute in here. Um, up here is where we keep all our light bulbs and stuff like that. Um, I added this little paper towel holder. Um, I did the wall tiles on here to make a little backsplash. Clean the sink out. I have my Mrs. Myers fresh cut grass in here. I thought it was kind of appropriate. And then down under here, I'm keeping all my extra um, cleaning supplies and things like that. I'm so happy with the way that this turned out. It looks so good. It's so sturdy. Um, and there's no rot or damage down there now. This is my husband's rechargeable battery station. Um, there's nothing up there because I really didn't want to be too cluttered. But here is where I can add some um, hangers if I need to like hang dry or something like that. 
And then I have had this forever. I am obsessed with this picture. It's always been in every single laundry room that I've had. Down here, I have this little Maryland um, picture I got from Kohl's. Of course, all my Ray done. I'm so sad. This had a little crown top and it broke. I'm super sad about that. So if you have an extra crown top, send it my way. Just kidding, nobody would want to get rid of that. Um, these are laminate counters. And we have a perfect little spot for the wash, dry, fold um, laundry basket. And then hidden back there is my O-Cedar mop. I just love that I can use this for two things. Um, and here is where I have all the cat and dog food organized. And below here is the cat and dog food area where I have all their bowls and all their knickknacks and things like that organized. Back here is like hidden storage. I have my stepladder and my little tabletop ironing board. Here is where I have all of my um, vacuum attachments for the Bagot and the Dyson. And I think, now as you say, I think I have some of my attachments for my carpet cleaner, but I think that's it in the other closet. This is from Dollar Tree. I have my little iron. Okay, I got this from Home Interiors. My husband bought me this um, little clothespin from a thrift shop. I have my right done, the little hydrangea. I got the lamb's ear from Hobby Lobby. These are my scent boosters, and I got that little apothecary jar from Home Goods on like clearance. That farmhouse sign is from Amazon. These two little um, dispensers, I know they're probably a bad idea. They might leak. We're just gonna see how it goes. I'm probably gonna go back to the regular plastic jugs. Um, I just, I know I might have to do that, but right now we're gonna try it out, see if it works. Um, these were from Kohl's years ago. I never used them, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna bring them out, I'm gonna use them, and if they don't work, then it's, you know, we tried. This is an ice bucket from Walmart. I'm actually using it for my OxyClean. Um, I just wanted to, like I said, use it. We never use it. When we have parties, we use a lot more ice than that, in that tiny little ice bucket, so I thought it would be really cute up here, and also something functional. Um, I have my little Ray Dunn plant holder. These are my dryer balls. This came with my um, tiered tray from Walmart. Lamb's ear, I think from TJ Maxx. This little ball is from um, Dollar Tree. That little vase, I think, is from Marshalls. Um, and, of course, we have the washer and dryer. This little basket, which is holding my dryer um, sheets. And then, obviously, I can organize... Um, like whites in there or something but um, I wish they were matching but they're not um, we just kind of want to use what we have so here is the overview the floors the floors turned out really nice I'm really happy with them because um, these were like I feel like the worst floors in the entire house like in the dirt was just packed in there mm -hmm. 